So welcome to another Snapshot Sunday. In this Snapshot Sunday, Adam is going to install midship cleats which have never been on Tyco before. The purpose of the Snapshot Sundays is to show you little insights into our life that we don't show in our regular videos or to show you little jobs that don't make it into our regular videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share the video. But we hope you enjoy the Snapshot Sunday. It's time to get on with a few more projects and one of those projects I'm going to tackle today is installing our midship cleats. So the idea is to install some cleats which are really strong points on the boat and they'll be at the widest part of the boat so that we can use them in docking, helping manoeuvre etc. Titaik has never had any midship cleats. The nearest thing it, to it is these U-bolts which are through bolted. They're pretty strong and you can see we do use them as spring lines but it's going to be really nice to have some proper midship cleats fitted. So for the purpose we've bought these 250mm cleats, stainless cleats. Uh, they've got four points where they can be through bolted and I've had the this is a backing plate made up so it's six millimeter stainless steel and this will go on the inside so to avoid you to avoid any point loading so it's a matter of checking where on the boat along the length the cleat needs to go and then checking clearance for drilling through making sure there's not going to be any damage and that the backing plates are going to fit okay and then the process will be to thicken up or drill them and dry fit them and then thicken up some epoxy and then we'll use an adhesive sealant on the top to seal them and help secure them so should get all that done quite soon I'll show you the process so the approach I'm taking is to mount the midship cleat halfway along the waterline of the boat rather than the overall length so what I've done is I've run a tape out and mark that location and it does work out around the widest part of the boat so that was advice I got online in terms of like the waterline length being the relevant part to how the boat will perform uh, when it's being docked and when it's being handled with mooring lines rather than the overall length which is less relevant so that makes a lot of sense and that's the location there so, so I've just marked the holes four points here and that's where that will be located now just need to check underneath so the switchboard's underneath this location so definitely going to have to seal this really well so that water doesn't get down below and also there's a ceiling panel underneath this piece of deck so I'm going to have to uh, cut a little piece of that out to allow space for the backing plate to go in. A few essential tools to help with the project. I've got the vacuum cleaner which is 18 volt vacuum cleaner really handy for drilling in places like this just so there's no dust and things getting away and also the drill with a uh, three mil pilot bit and then we've got the eight mil bit ready to go. Okay so the first step is to drill some pilot holes just double check everything's okay down below with this location. Bit in. Might actually just go down below and check that that has come out in an okay location before I carry on. I don't think that's gone through the ceiling panel, so I just want to drill a bit further through and then I should be able to see where exactly the hole lines up inside. It's gone through the ceiling panel now. <laughs> quite a long way. It's quite a long way down through the ceiling panel. Let's go and have a look at the So this is the locker down below where below where the cleat is going to be mounted and it's worked out well. This is the ceiling panel and you can see the first hole that's come down through the ceiling panel. So 
it's going to line up nicely. Okay, so that's lining up. Let's get the rest of the pilot holes done. All right, just to show that, let's get, fix that in the right place. Put that screw in there. Get the next hole drilled. Get the next hole drilled. Complaints from below. Right, so now that's in position, and I'll take the backing plate down and just fit it underneath, make sure that it lines up nicely with those bolts, and then that'll be that step done. Now to put some sealant in, seal this. So thank you for watching the Snapshot Sunday. Remember the purpose of these is to show you little insights into our life or boat jobs that we're doing that don't make it into our regular videos. We release a full length video every fortnight about our sailing adventures, but on alternative weeks we release a Snapshot Sunday which shows you little tidbits that we don't share in the regular longer videos. If you like these videos please consider subscribing, liking and sharing, that really helps us out and it's free. But if you like the content of our videos and want to support us, please consider joining us at Patreon, where you can find us at patreon.com slash Look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Thanks for watching.